Hello and welcome back for another quant price prediction update and in this video I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the quant chart and also give you my next price targets and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and yesterday after the CPI data which came out being positive uh, quant was able to react to that where you can see that we had been trading at these low prices below the $100 mark where we saw a bit of a spike to the upside that is what we were trading over here we saw a bit of a spike to the upside and after seeing our high at around the $102 mark then we saw a bit of a pullback to the lower side and at the time of this recording we are seeing a bit of another recovery where we are also holding above our key area of support at around the $100.3 mark and also above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart and this is a day that I'm also expecting a lot of volatility in the market given that we have the FOMC meeting and also the PPI data and as a result of this to fundamental news I'm expecting a lot of volatility in the market and there are chances that ahead of the FOMC meeting and the PPI data we might continue gearing up see a break above significant areas of resistances where we could possibly see quant get above the 106.5 dollar mark which is our next key area of resistance and a break above that then we can watch out for a successful retest and once you get a successful retest then we could possibly get above the 110.9 dollar mark we also need to have in mind that the cpi the ppi and the fomc meeting can also have a negative impact on the market and in case such a move plays out that is in case we get such data which is negative to the uh, to the market there are chances that we might lose the $100.3 mark once more in a move that could possibly take us to our next key area of support at around the $97.3 mark. And remember that the $97.3 mark is a very significant key area of support where in case quant is able to lose that key area of support we can possibly expect a successful retest before we can continue seeing lower prices in a move that could give us a reset of the low that we made at around the $94.3 mark we need to have that in mind quant has also continued to obey the ADO12 structures and jumping to the 4 hour chart for further analysis and to give you my analysis basing it on the ADO12 structures you can see that after seeing our bear market low at around the $40.1 mark we started a 5 wave move to the upside having the wave 5 giving us a high at around the $229.5 mark completing the formation of this larger ADO wave count 1 then we started a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADO wave count 2 minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area that I came up with by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 giving me a minimum target area between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.78 which is an area between the $134.1 mark and the $80.4 mark and there are two possible scenarios that we can expect here on the quant chart and the first one is that we are yet to see the low for this higher ADO wave count 2 and as a result of that whatever we are seeing on the charts is a breakdown move obeying this ABC corrective structure where we are terming this as the wave A then a wave B and we can expect one more leg down in the formation of this wave C fully maximizing this red target area and giving us an 80 point something dollar quant before we can start an impulse in the formation of this larger ADO to have count 3 that is the first possible move that we can expect here on the quant chart the second one is that quant at some point might not give us that one more leg down in the formation of this wave C 
and could turn around from the prices that we are trading within. And for that to play out, then we can expect quant to give us a very strong five wave move to the upside over here, followed by an ABC corrective structure. And once we see such a move, followed by an ABC corrective structure and also a break above significant highs here on the charts, then that will be enough confirmation that we are not going to get one more leg down in the formation of these wave C. Uh, in the formation to complete the formation of these larger ADT wave count too. So in case quant continues to break above significant areas of resistances and also see a break above the wave B high at around the 165.6 dollar mark, that will be enough confirmation that we might not see one more leg down in the formation of these wave C. But if by any chance we lose the 97.3 dollar mark which is acting as support for a couple of days it has been acting as support in case we see a break below that maybe get a successful retest then we can expect further breakdown getting a reset of the low at around the 94.3 dollar mark and one more leg down in the formation of these wave C to the lower side so those are the two possible scenarios that I'm expecting here on the quant chart and I remember that today we are expecting the, CP, the PPI and the FOMC meeting to give us volatility and also give us the next direction to follow for the next couple of days. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 45 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.